Watertown is still working to issue sewer permits to developers looking to build in a portion of the city. It was discussed at a city council work session Monday night. In February 2022, a main sewer line within the city had too much running through it, and the city ended up dumping wastewater in wetlands. The Department of Environmental Conservation found out and fined the city more than $20,000. The DEC has since approved the city's plan to fix the issue, but the city must now decide if it will charge developers a one-time fee to build. That money would then go towards fixing or eventually replacing issues with the city's sewer system. This, the offset plan and these fees, they'd be one-time fee, and it would be just for any development within the Western Outfall, okay. which comprises about 30% of the city system. The Western Outfall makes up the areas around Arsenal, Coffeen, and Washington Streets. Nothing was decided on last night. City Council members will continue to discuss the fee schedule, likely coming up with a decision before finalizing the next budget. City Council also discussed the future of the former Globe Mini Mall on Court Street. Developer Dan Query plans to revamp the building, putting 11 market rate apartments above the first floor office space. He says the total cost would be around $3 million. City Council members talked about allowing property tax exemptions for mixed use buildings. They also discussed endorsing a payment in lieu of taxes for the project or a pilot agreement. The head of JCIDA's asked for councils, asked council for a letter of support. We are able to do housing projects. Um, we just do not do them um, as, a, as a typical situation. Um, but uh, in this particular case, um, our board of directors thought that the 302 Court Street property um, was something that uh, they could support. A letter of agreement will likely be voted on at the next city council meeting.